So like the thing that I'm seeing is like anytime your arm side, arm side up, all that it is, it's just a byproduct of like you getting into your drive phase and then sacrificing your direction going this way. So you're just cutting yourself off. Now you have to like overcompensate to accelerate your hand into the slot. And that's why you're just leaving it up. So like, especially when we do our shuffles, like take note of a lane, if you can imagine like a lane and then go, okay, I'm sticking in that lane here. Boom to you. That's much better. So, so like, I think it's all it is, is like your mind's perception of what straight is. Oh, I'm so glad you said that because I, this is straight. I know. So like, go over here. So overemphasize it. So stay in that line, because if you're over there, then your mind perception of straight is wrong. So then it thinks it has to realign. And that's the first thing that's gonna happen, right? But the thing is, is that you, you gotta be conscious of it because you know you have it. So like, especially in catch play, you gotta be mindful of that because like, if you don't and you drift, those are patterns that are being established, right? So like, you gotta be like, all right, dude, if I'm arm side up two in a row, check my line, right? Check my, you know, like whatever. And then, okay, get back to neutral. Yeah. Because your line, so like your, your, your linear energy and drive phase, so like the moment in which you descend is straight. So it's not like you have a crossfire motion, right? So like that's a huge piece to your catch play, right? 